Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to this Epic Gamer video. So, World of Warcraft has been around for a long time, and in WoW, we have seen quite a lot of hidden things and secrets left by Blizzard for us to find. So in this video, we'll be going over 10 secret Easter eggs in WoW. So let's get right into it. Legend of Zelda Chickens. So anybody who played The Legend of Zelda back in the day would have remembered the famous killer chickens that attack you if you mess around with them too much. In World of Warcraft BFA Zone Stormsong Valley, there is a little quest hub called the Millstone Hamlet. This place has some chickens, and if you were foolish enough to attack one of them, all the chickens would descend upon you and kill your character very quickly. Even as a max level character in raid gear, you can actually die to this. So if you want to try this Easter egg out for yourself, consider this a warning. Winnie the Pooh. Another cool Easter egg in the BFA Zone Stormsong Valley is an interesting and unique scenario you can find where there are NPCs representing all the characters from the Winnie the Pooh. Of course, there is Winnie the Bear, but there's also a representation of Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore. Of course, they all had their names changed so that Blizzard could avoid copyright issues. However, we all know what these characters are in reference to. This is a cool little twist on what would be an otherwise normal treasure chest as you loot the pot of honey, you get some Azerite as a reward. Goblin Shredder's Scream so, in World of Warcraft, there are a bunch of these goblin shredders. They are used to vary up the goblin mobs, and they are basically used by the goblins for cutting trees down as well as combat. However, what some of you may not know is that the goblin shredders actually have a built-in screen which shows a picture of Kerrigan from StarCraft 1. This raises some interesting questions. Are the goblins in World of Warcraft secretly being controlled by Kerrigan from StarCraft? Do the goblins really just admire her a lot that they look at her while they work? We may never know. Deadly Sheep Flock So deep in the mountains of Elwyn Forest next to Storun, there is a suspicious looking house up there. The house is home of a gnome called Agi Tyler, and he looks to own a sheep farm. Outside the house are a bunch of sheep, and nothing seems to be too out of the ordinary. However, if you look closely amongst the docile sheep, NPCs of a sheep named Tecton, who is actually a mechanical sheep. Upon doing any damage, it will explode, causing you to fly back, and the gnome in the house will get mad at you. The funny thing is with this exploding sheep is that you can tame it if you are a hunter. Mini Hearthstone set. So throughout World of Warcraft, you may come across some taverns and inns that have an odd-looking board game that some patrons may play. If you look close, the characters in WoW are playing a game of Hearthstone. You can see the miniature cards people are playing with, as well as their heroes. The board is even detailed to look like the boards that you actually play on in the game in Hearthstone. In any case, this is a really cool easter egg. To see WoW NPCs play Hearthstone, the only question I want to know is who do they pay their microtransactions to? God of War. So the recent God of War game saw a tremendous amount of support and hype. It featured Kratos along with his son, and you would travel from zones to fight enemies and solve puzzles. A lot of people really like this version of God of War, as well as the characters. If you look in Orgrimmar, you'll actually find an easter egg which is basically the two of them standing together, considering the fact that the orc's son has a bow and arrow, and a similar haircut, and the father is wearing the same clothes and beard as Kratos, it's an obvious reference to the God of War franchise. Nova. So anybody who can remember, there was a game planned by Blizzard in the StarCraft franchise called StarCraft Ghost. This title was designed to be a spin-off of the StarCraft strategy game where you would play as Nova in a stealth action game. A lot of people were pretty excited to see what this game would be like, however, due to some unknown reasons and development hiccups, the game StarCraft Ghost never got released. In its place, Blizzard paid tribute to this dead game by giving it a monument in the Netherstorm Zone in WoW. This monument has a Draenei looking design, and it blinks and displays letters which spell Nova. Another interesting easter egg on top of this one is that the NPC can occasionally spawn near the Nova Shrine. This NPC named Nova Terra can very rarely be found to appear next to the Nova Shrine, who is stealth and is an obvious representation of the Nova character in StarCraft. Now this has given people some speculation as to why this Blood Elf Nova appears, could it be StarCraft Ghost isn't dead after all, and maybe it's making a release after all this time. While considering that this Nova Shrine was put in the game in TBC about 14 years ago, I honestly wouldn't hold your breath. Sweeney Todd 
So, Sweeney Todd was a famous character in a movie who basically was a bad barber who would chop his customers up. You may be wondering what this has anything to do with World of Warcraft. However, in the Stormwind Barber, you can find something quite interesting. Everything looks normal when you step inside, however, the barber NPC has something to hide. If you go upstairs and check out what's going on, you may not initially see anything out of the ordinary. However, you can find skeletons of two gnomes hidden under some of the floorboards, which is believed to be a reference to this movie. Donkey Kong So, Donkey Kong is a famous Nintendo character, and you may think that WoW wouldn't put an easter egg of a Nintendo character in their game, due to how protective Nintendo are of their copyrighted material. However, since the days of Vanilla WoW, there was an island off the coast of Stranglethorn Vale. If you go looking around in this isle, you will eventually come across a quest, asking you to take down a monster called King Mukla. King Mukla is a giant ape who throws barrels at you as you attack. This is a reference to Donkey Kong, and I truly think the reason Blizzard didn't give him a name closer to what it's trying to reference is to of course avoid lawsuits, so they just gave him the name King Mukla. Ghosts in Undercity so this is an oldie, but of course still a goodie. Some of you may remember a cool little thing in the Undercity. Even today, this is still a really cool Easter egg. Before entering the Undercity, you will come across the Throne Room. Now, the Throne Room is a very lore-heavy place. This was where Arthas killed King Tyrannus in Warcraft 3 after becoming a Death Knight, and the room seems intact from Warcraft 3. You can even find some of the blood on the floor, which is the blood of King Tyrannus after he was slain by Arthas. I guess nobody really cleaned it up after 20 years. However, this isn't the most interesting part about this easter egg. A lot of the people really love Warcraft 3, so Blizzard paid tribute to this scene and actually put an easter egg into the throne room, where if you turn the volume of your sound effects up and music to zero and turn up your ambience, you can hear ghostly voices of Arthas and King Tyrannus from the Warcraft 3 cutscene. This is pretty cool, so listen closely and you will recognize some of the voices. This kingdom shall fall, and from the ashes shall arise a new mortar that will shake the very foundations of the world. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.